Yeah, so I guess the ma major change is the nature of the piece that will go through the flow, but actually not the principles themselves that uh, are actually the, the principles that we are using for manufacturing at Toyota, and we would actually apply the same principles to, to IT. Uh, but of course, the nature, the size uh, may be different, but uh, I would say the principles are the same, and this is the the whole reason for me to, to apply the same principles to IT and see that it works actually quite well for IT as it works for making cars or other things. So there is a, a company, Hoshin, that uh, explained the major priorities for the company. So one priority may be linked to IT. For example, if we want to, to implement new collaboration tools around the world, that would be a Hoshin item for IT. Uh, however, we have all the other business priorities, and then the IT Hoshin will be what it takes to have IT supporting those business goals, basically. So that will then be automatically integrated. But we will always decline the company Hoshin into a IT hosting that tells our people what they should do actually to, to achieve their part of, of the company hosting. So yeah, because we don't mandate a particular methodology, uh, there is some flexibility in the way they are used. Uh, I may even say that sometimes they may not be used perfectly, uh, but we, we have not aimed at, uh, at uh, creating a specific methodology that we would call Toyota Agile or Toyota Scrum. I think this doesn't make sense. The principles of Agile and Scrum came originally, I would say, or certainly partially from the Toyota production system. So we are glad that those concepts were enriched outside Toyota and that we can take them back uh, enriched within Toyota. Now, within Toyota, we will then apply some Kaizen, so that may create at some point some divergence uh, in the way we use them. Yeah, so there also uh, the customer may be very different depending on, uh, on the part of IT. So as an example, in in-car IT, uh, we will provide, let's say, uh, an app or a uh, or navigation system uh, directly to a final customer of Toyota. So there, of course, is very important that we talk to those customers, that we understand their needs, uh, that we improve based on what they are telling us and so on. Uh, if we implement, I don't know, an email system within the company, uh, we will talk to the employees of the company and try to, to understand from they are telling us what we should change and so on. But there is always a customer in everything we do. And if we cannot uh, identify and measure a customer value, uh, then we are doing something wrong. Or maybe we should not do that activity at all. The major thing is be persevere. It will take a lot of time. It will not be obvious from the start. So you will need to start slow to show, to show results on a small, small part uh, of the activity and uh, convince people based on, on these good results uh, that it's also good for them and then try to advocate it to, uh, to a growing number of people. So you, you may need a, a coach to do that at the beginning if you don't have them in your company, uh, but you should also do it in a way that uh, everybody in your company can become uh, lean coach gradually so, uh, so that you can have then the, the momentum because uh, having just one lean coach coming and going will, will not be enough to get it sustainable in your organization. <laughs>